and welcome back to Love Your Food. This week we have a beautiful and simple summer recipe for you. We are doing lemonade, or more specifically, we're doing lemonade concentrate that you can sort of mix up however you like. So we're gonna be making a very, very concentrated uh, lemonade syrup that you can mix with sparkling water or booze or whatever you like. So here's our ingredients. Obviously, we're gonna be starting with some lemons. We're gonna be making some simple syrup out of some water and sugar. And we're also gonna be using some frozen strawberries and we're gonna be using a little bit of booze in one of our drinks towards the end as well. So to start off, we are gonna make our simple syrup. So we're going to uh, just mix the water with the sugar here. All of the amounts are gonna be in the description below. So when you're making syrup or uh, any kind of caramel, you do kind of want to try and keep sugar off of the side of your uh, container, uh, of your pot. So you're just gonna uh, run the water down the sides to make sure that there's no uh, sugar crystals sticking to the side. Then we're gonna zest our lemons. So you can see here we're using uh, just a grater box instead of a microplane grater for this one. So you do need to be a little bit careful. You wanna make sure you're just getting the, uh, the zest and not as, as much of, uh, avoiding the pith as much as possible because that will add sort of a bitter flavor. And we're really just looking for that uh, really strong lemon oil uh, flavor. So there we go. So that is the zest from all of those lemons. And you don't see a whole lot of zest uh, uh, pith in there. It's all zest as much as we possibly can. Uh, meanwhile, our syrup is clearing up and uh, we're just gonna let it boil very, very quickly uh, and briefly, I should say, and make sure that every last bit of that sugar is uh, completely dissolved. Now we're using this uh, on our induction stove, which is great. We can turn the heat up and down very, very quickly. And there you go, you can see it is now all completely dissolved. There's uh, no more visible sugar at the bottom. And we're gonna get our uh, lemon zest in there once the heat has been turned off. So we turned the heat off, we let it uh, stop boiling and all that sort of thing first. Now it doesn't have to cool down or anything. It can still be quite warm when you put the lemon zest in. Uh, you just don't want it to be boiling. And that's gonna steep a lot of the flavor. A lot of that lemon oil is gonna come out of the uh, skins and infuse that syrup with uh, that bright, bright, bright lemon flavor and aroma. Meanwhile, we're gonna uh, juice all of our lemons. You wanna get your strainer. Uh, we usually just give them a little cut to make this uh, go a little smoother. And we're just going to make sure we're getting as much of the juice out of these as possible. Out of those lemons, we got actually a great deal of juice. They were very uh, excellent lemons. And there you go, you can see how much, uh, how much of that great lemon juice we got. So this is gonna uh, form the other flavor base of our uh, lemonade concentrate. Then we're gonna take our syrup, we're gonna strain all of the lemon zest out of the syrup. And then you're just gonna be left with that incredibly aromatic and very lemony syrup. So there's a lot of sugar in there, a lot of lemon oil. It's uh, got a whole lot of flavor. You can see how much of the color has come out of that uh, lemon zest uh, into it. Now we did let it come down to room temperature. We didn't chill it, but we let it come down to room temperature. We did chill the lemon juice as it was uh, waiting. And then we're just gonna blend those together. And this is really the basis of the uh, lemonade concentrate. Like you could put this in the freezer and, uh, and just mix this into drinks uh, as your lemonade, this is uh, this is the the basis of our of our drinks right here. Now we found that this was a beautifully th uh, heavy concentrated lemonade syrup, um, and it mixed very very well. Now we're going to taste it to make sure that it's uh, pretty well balanced and everything. It's got enough sugar. It's got enough. Uh, it's got the right flavors. So just a little sample in there. And then we're gonna start doing some mixing. So first thing we're gonna do is take a little bit of that lemonade concentrate and our frozen strawberries. And we're just gonna burr mix those and this is gonna make the basis of uh, one of our drinks. And of course these are gorgeous summery drinks so we do want to, to make sure that everything's nice and cold. 
So there we go, we have this beautiful uh, lemon and strawberry puree. And then we're gonna measure these out into glasses. So we found, this is a two ounce ladle. We found that uh, mixing it uh, two ounces of the um, concentrate to about four ounces of whatever we're mixing it with seem to be about right. So here we go with our lemon and uh, strawberry puree. Making sure we're getting all of that out of the cup. Now this one we're gonna add a little bit of booze. So we've got this nice bourbon. We're gonna add an ounce of that. And then to top that off, we're gonna add another three ounces of our uh, just sparkling, regular sparkling water. So as I said, that's our, uh, our general ratio is four ounces of mix to our concentrate. And that makes just, just about perfect. So give that a good stir. And then in the next glass over, we're just gonna put in uh, four ounces of sparkling water. This is just for a straight up sparkling lemonade. And we're gonna put that one in a nice tall glass. And again, give it a little stir. And for this one, we have, uh, we measured out our, um, our strawberries. So we have uh, two ounces of lemon concentrate, about two ounces of strawberries, and two ounces of, uh, of our sparkling water. And you can see it fizzed up quite a lot at the end there. And uh, for, these two, for these two drinks, we're gonna add some uh, ice cubes to them because they, uh, we wanna keep them nice and cold. And you can use whatever kind of ice cubes you like. The one that's a little bit more of a cocktail, we're gonna use one of our big ice cubes for that. This one was made with frozen strawberries. It doesn't really need any ice cubes. It is beautiful and cold right now. And from here, they're just ready to drink. So we've got these beautiful summer drinks. Uh, we are going to just go ahead and drink those. And, uh, and really, that's it. Um, this uh, concentrate will stay good in the, in the freezer for a good long time, just like the uh, concentrate that you can buy in those little cans at the grocery store. But, I mean, it always tastes so much better when it's homemade. Make sure you're getting that, um, that lemon oil from the zest in there. It really does help bring out a lot more flavor and that fresh lemon juice is just such a joy. So if you like this recipe, please do like and subscribe. And if you have any recipes you'd like to see Chef Caleb try on the channel, please let us know in the comments below. And remember to love your food.